So in the first video we've talked about um, how to start project and how to work with tasks. In this video I want to start talking about resources. So who are the people who are going to work on the task and how much are they going to be charging you and the materials that we use. So we need to start talking about that and apply those resources to people. Now when you're applying resources there are a couple of different ways to approach it. You could actually type individual names or you can just type the generic name so say you were working on a project where you're gonna have a lot of programmers so uh, you could just have a generic title programmer uh, or you could just type individual names so you'll find that different times you want to use it differently so to get to resources you can go to view and then you can go to resource sheet and then say I'll just type myself and there are different types of resources work material and cost so let's come back to my PowerPoint here and um, in the work you, they are usually people which is based on time so whenever you are assigning somebody who is going to do some work hourly basis you'll choose work material is for in my example I've got some tiles that I need to bring some paint so all of that will be considered material and cost are which are in are not dependent on the amount of work or the duration that is being done so like examples like cap fare or uh, you were getting a programmer or somebody from outside a contractor and he was going to stay at a hotel you're going to pay for it so it's like a fixed cost like it's not depending on how much work they're going to go if they're going to be here for five days the hotel cost is going to be whatever it's going to be fixed and the last part which is called accrued at which is I'm just going to come back to my project which is this guy here there are different ways that it is accrued this is like an accounting term um, I won't get too much detail into it but it means that do you want a, that cost to be applied at the start of the task or is it at the end of the task or is it prorated which is it is distributed during the life of the task and that is done by default which is set to prorated and um, I'll just add uh, say I'm gonna get a general labor which is also work and if I had two labor then I'll put 200 percent if you had three 300 percent it's only one then 100 percent and I'll say his standard rate is $35 an hour and his overtime is $45 an hour and then say I'm gonna have a tiles contractor so this guy's gonna handle that and well, he's just gonna charge me $65 an hour and 75 for overtime and say I want to write the tiles which is the tiles are going to be material I'm using the tab keys and the standard rate for my tiles that I'm getting is say uh, $20 okay and I can do the same thing for paint okay so say the paint is going to be $85 for one box so it says oh I need to change this to material sorry so the rate is 85 for like one box then I can apply to it okay. so now I'm just gonna come back to view I had gone from view to resource sheet I'll come back from view to GAN chart and let's see I'm gonna start applying people so I wanna apply um, I need to hide something. I was doing something, so I'm just going to hide something right now and come back to that part. And I want to apply the moving things to rental place. I'm going to double click on it and I'll go to resources and I'll say, you know what? Uh, it's going to be me and it's going to be the labor guy. Click OK. Now that information is attached to that task. I can double click on it. And because I don't have a cost associated with myself, but the labor cost has showed up. Now, if I want it, if I double click on it again, and I go to this job which is advanced, and I said this is fixed unit, so this job is effort driven, but if I want it, if I change it to fixed work, that will start changing. So I'll do it in another place too. So take floor measurements, I'll say, you know what, this will be done by me, nobody else need to do it. Click OK. Now, uh, say I want to skip and I'm going to go to remove all tiles and I'll say this job will be done by the general labor. Level floors, 
he'll be doing this job too. And placing new tiles will be done by the uh, the tiles contractor, and I'll click OK. So, so that's supposed to be five days. If I double click on it, and now the cost is added. And under advanced, this one is set for fixed work, which is effort driven. So now, if I go here, so I'm just going to move this. This is five days. If I go to resources, and if I add the general labor to this, let's see what happens. Now the job got split into two and a half days because it's a fixed job. Okay, so I can do the same thing with paint. I can apply the labor guide to this and I can click OK. Now I need to attach the tiles to the job. So I can go to the place new tiles job and also add the tiles to this. And how many units it is. I'm like, well, you know, this is going to be 200 units of tiles. Click OK. Now when I double click on it, the cost is added to it. The same way if I go to the paint, I'll add, I'm just double clicking on it, paint, and I'll say, you know what, I think I'm going to need 10 paints. Click OK. I'll double click on it, and that is added the cost of the paint to it. So that's all it is to adding resources. You go to View, Resource Sheet, and then you start adding the people. And then you go to View, Gantt Chart, and you can just start applying to whatever jobs you want to do. So if I can come here, I can apply myself and the labor guy to this job. So as I'm adding it, those names are getting started added up here. If it doesn't show up in your case, I'm going to show you in a few minutes how to fix that problem. So I'll show you how to do that. Now, for example, I wanted to add fixed cost associated with something. Say the cleanup. I just wanted to put like the person's going to charge me $150 for a few hours of cleanup. So I could just right click here and I could insert a column and I type F. So I go to the F section. I'm going to scroll down and look for fixed cost. And I can click OK. Now if I want it, I could just put the cost here. I could even add them to my resources, so either way. And I'll say $150. So I've added the cost there if I want to. So I can do it like that. Now here's a question. Say, for example, your tiles contractor, for some reason, was going to take a break. Or he said that, or the labor guy said that he was going to be away for a certain time. So if you wanted to make their changes to their timings, you can go to View resource sheet and then so I'll double click on the labor guy and in the general I can go to change his working time so I can put the exceptions the time save if he was going to be away for a week so I can put an exception here so say I can say uh, vacation time and I'll say he's going to be on a vacation from uh, April 1st till April 8th. So now that means he's not available for work at that time. So if I click OK, now that exception is added. I can also change the work week, like say he, his start and end times were different, so I could set that too by going to details and change whatever days he's available. So I'll click OK and I'll click OK. Now let's go back to view Gantt chart and you see what happened? This job got split because the labor guy is on a vacation from the 1st to the 7th or the 8th. So this job got split. So it's got extended my job. So if I go back to View, Resource Sheet, double click on that same resource, and I'll go to Change Working Time, and I'll delete this. And I'll click OK, click OK. And I'll come back to view Gantt chart. Now the job's back to the way it was. So it's a very easy way to fix this. One more thing that can happen is I'm going to come back to view and resource sheet. For example, the labor guys or the tiles contract or somebody's rates have changed in the middle of the project. So when you started the project on the 1st April, it was fine. But in, in a week's time, his rates went up for whatever reason. So you can double click on that guy. I can go to the cost section and here I can put an effective date of say 
April the 15th and I can put a different rate there 45 and his over time it's going to be 55 so you can change and project will automatically assign these cost and for each and every resource you can also add notes to them and also their like, you know their telephone number or whatever or special files attachments you can attach to them click OK so different types of hours that you can set here and you can also set their dollar hours if they've changed I'll come back to view Gantt chart and there are a lot of different ways of viewing at your information now if you wanted if you didn't find this name showing up so what you can do is go to format and you can go through this Gantt chart wizard and then just click next and then you can choose there are different ways of showing your information I can click next and you see you can choose resources and dates and if you've chosen this the dates and the resources will be showing up on the side or if you just wanted resources you can just change to resources I can click next do you want the links I want the links next and I can format it and click exit wizard now that information is added here you can also go to view and you can view your tracking Gantt so you see the tracking Gantt is showing you the percentage of the jobs that has been done and you can come back to view and if you wanted you can see resource sheet and you can go to view and you can see resource usage so it will show you the hours so um, if I want I'll just scroll across here to that date and there it is now in my case uh, my project is starting on the April 1st so I have to scroll across but if you want it you could use this button that says scroll to task the shortcut is control shift F5 that is if I am say this is March 17th but I wanted to check out this date task so I could just click on the scroll to task option and it brings me here I believe it should be under edit for some reason it's not listed under one of the menus you may find it if you look around but there is that option there if you wanted to use it and I can always come back to view and the Gantt chart you can also view the calendar if you wanted so this shows me the calendar as to who's what's happening on what day I can come back to view Gantt chart you can customize a lot of these colors I'll talk a little bit more later but just briefly if I right click here I can go to bar styles and I can say the summaries I want it to be red in color and I can click OK so the summaries are red in the center you can also go to format bar I will show you one last thing which is where I want to show you how to add a percentage complete on a task so to do that what I'm going to do is go to project project information and I'll change the start date to I'll change it to fourth of Monday that is it started last week and I'll click OK okay so now the Gantt chart is updated itself so say I come here and I click on this task and I can use this percentage symbols and I can say this task is done hundred percent so it puts a check mark on it. Uh, if some task was done 50%, I can do 50%. Okay. Now I can go to this is if you remember I added this by going to view toolbars and I added the tracking so that I got this toolbar here so I can add that information. And if I wanted, I could even highlight multiple tasks and I can hit 100% or whatever percentage. Now let's look at the view. Uh, tracking Gantt and now I can see the percentages which are done and on your own if you wanted to try for some reason I cannot get it if you click on view timeline uh, I think it's already under available when you in Gantt chart you go to view you should see an option called timeline for some reason under view I don't see timeline here but I've just got another file open here this is a different file I was testing and under view I have the timeline option which for some reason my program saying it's not installed 
which you can see it, what it will do, I get an error message. On the top, you see a timeline here, like a rectangle box showing you the whole timeline. I'm not sure why I'm not getting it under my view. So I'll look into it and let you know if I find an answer in my next window a video. Uh, so in this video, we pretty much covered all the important elements of resources and applying resources. And there was one more option I want to talk about before I end this video. Under view, there is an option called turn on project guide. You can even use this when you first start it. What it does is it just gives you like a guiding steps as to how to go about doing all the things step by steps. So if you wanted to use that, you could. But I prefer to learn on my own by doing it one at a time. So I can go to view and I can turn off project guide. Thank you for watching. In the next video, I'll try to talk more about formatting and reports and different views.